Hey guys, make sure you stand to the end. One common mistake people make when replacing fuses relays that can cost you thousands of dollars in repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you guys having a Mercedes E-Class, that generation here, uh, that's known as uh, Mercedes W212. That's from year 2010 to year 2016. If you guys need to find where the phone cigarette lighter fuse is located, which fuse you need to check, where you can guys buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. And why guys, it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. All right guys, will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Now, if you have a Mercedes E-Class, that generation from year 2010 to year 2016, 17 guys, this is the W212 guys. We're going to have a video for every single fuse relay on that car, why things do not work, why we're making this one, because uh, we're trying to save you time and money, guys. Let's say you're down the road in the middle of nowhere, your car does not start, you need to find where your engine starter fuse relay is located, guys, where you can find fuel injection uh, system uh, fuses, fuel pump fuses, all you have to do, come to the channel, watch that video, one, two minutes, you're back on the road, guys. In addition, we'll share where you can buy cheap parts and tools that way you do not waste your money and time. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make, guys, at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to fix mechanical, electrical, engine work, guys, body work, a little bit of everything. And we have more than 12,000 free repair videos on our channels that can save you thousands of dollars, guys, in free repair videos. Check it out if you need help with that. So let's go ahead and start on it now. So the front cigarette lighter fuse guys, where you can expect to find it, we'll demonstrate that on this generation Mercedes E-Class. This is the pre-phase lifted version, this is the phase lifted version, but that's the same generation, so, so it, sh it should work for both. You need to guys first open the trunk, once you open the trunk here on the driver, or on the passenger side, excuse me, on the right side you have that cover, <coughs> pull it out and behind it you will find the main rear fuse box with a layout that will look like this one right here. Before we guys continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So, it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well, common mistakes people make. Sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need, uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we had to do is just test the fuse. So we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse, it takes only a few seconds to find find out for sure if it's good or bad. The same thing for relays guys, okay? Uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars, so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays. And for some certain fuses guys, it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them, otherwise you can burn the electronics. And uh, for instance, working on airbags, fuses or anything like that, you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery. And if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system, I will never recommend to do that guys. Uh, but when disconnecting the car battery, guys, okay, common mistake people make, it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect, reconnect first, if you do it the wrong way you can burn electronics modules, how we know about that? We burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on BMW that cost us $2,000 guys, so uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below which battery terminal to disconnect first, check it out for your convenience. The front cigarette lighter, which fuse you need to check, let's explain now. Oh, by the way, if you guys need to buy any fuses, relays, parts, tools for Mercedes or any car at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time, we will put the links in the description of the video below, check it out, you can guys save a ton of money. We will come in that section of fuses here, we are going to zoom in a little bit, and here guys, next to every fuse you have a number, for instance, that's fuse number 73, the number is here, 72. 71. Fuse number 71 is the one that you will guys need to check right here. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know. Thank you for watching. See you next time. 